Hey, how's it going? All right. Yeah, it's good. This is a beautiful PCB. Tell me some more about yes, it. Yes, this is our uh, production silicon personal premium Gen 1 device. Okay. So this is running all on our latest tools, including our own embedded development frame. Uh -huh. And under here is an FPGA. Under here is the FPGA, yes. Okay. And so as you can see here, we're doing a video inference model. Yep. So we're thinking of this up a glass to glass, so it's camera, they monitor. Mm -hmm. It comes in, all the, all the video pipeline is done on the on the device itself, so we're all done in programmable logic. It comes in, does the pre-processing, gets it ready for the YOLO X model. Yep. That pushes it out onto the post-processing where we do our overlay, our bounding boxes you can see here we're labeling the different things that I we're see. seeing yeah nice colors nice walk through london last night we had yeah beautiful yeah and so <laughs> this is a nice nice demo showing or showing how we can run ai on this device and as i say the next stage from that will be then move on to our, our next generation of personal premium all right, maybe we can find out about this. What are we looking at here? Good, good. good so this good. is the, the Versal Premium Gen 2 device. Here we've got a four maybe camera set up, yeah. the same thing, uh, glass to glass. At the moment, this is using the Gen 2 device, so um, a lot of the soft IP that was used on this design has been now moved on to hardened IP, so we're trying to utilize as much of the hardened IP as we can here. It's good. Um, you know, same thing, we're doing a lot of the pre-processing using hard IP. Uh, this isn't running inference at the moment. We're planning to um, add that to this design. Um, but we're also going to, do it to utilize the ARM cores in here and also mm -hmm. the GPU in this device as well. So we're going to try and utilize that to do some of the post-processing and uh, bounding box um, cool. uh, just on the display. One more thing before we stop. Why would I want to run machine vision on an FPGA? Performance. Performance and being able to run on the edge instead of having to run in a data center. Beautiful. Thanks very much. No problem. The dual aim and lineup. <laughs>